Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising, welcome to your October 2024 predictions. What does Virgo need to know for October 2024, please? Virgo, right off the bat, the guides are saying that they want you to have more fun in October 2024, and I asked why, like what do they mean by that? And they're basically describing or showing me your daily routine. And it's like a routine that you've kind of gotten used to, which is a good thing. Like you're feeling comfortable and confident within your own routine, your kind of day-to-day -day life. But now they're asking that you find the fun in the things you're doing. And if there are some things that are not really fun for you, if you could find a way to make them fun, or if you could just totally let them go if they're not a real responsibility and it's just something that's part of your routine. Because basically what they're describing to me is that the more fun that you have in October, um, it's kind of going to set you on a new trajectory for quite some time. If you were to bring this kind of fun and, and lightness to your day-to-day -day life, it's going to help you uh, really step into a new level of energy, one that makes your day-to-day -day life much easier, number one, but also your manifesting power stronger. Thank you. What else does Virgo need to know for October 2024, please? Going with the flow and trusting yourself and then intuition came through. So let's take this all together here, Virgo. And Virgo, as always, please only take this if it resonates. Leave the rest behind. Remembering we are all on our own unique journeys and so not everyone is going to resonate with everything I say all at the same time. So it's this idea of, you know, we're talking about the daily routine, but then they're saying like, go with the flow, trusting your intuition. It's kind of this idea that life is going to become easier when you are having fun. We talked about that at the beginning, but then what's happening when you do that is you're starting to build this strength with your intuition. And then eventually what happens is you're just starting to follow your intuition. You're being guided on a day-to-day -day basis, literally minute by minute of what you're meant to be doing at any given time. And it makes your life, <laughs> excuse me, Virgo, it makes your life very easy. Thank you. What else does Virgo need to know for October 2024, please? Virgo, okay, I was just asking the guides about that little cough, that like moment of not being able to speak. Some of you are needing to work on your throat chakra in the month of October 2024. Remember our throat chakra all around our communication, our authenticity, fe feeling seen, being seen, being heard, clear communication. It governs all of those things along with the physical throat, obviously, um, Virgo. And so for some of you, it's the idea that you do need to bring this throat chakra into balance. You can do that by adding the color blue to your life. You can do that by um, doing some I am affirmations around communication. You can breathe in and out of the throat chakra on the inhale, opening the chakra on the exhale, gently closing it to really activate the energy. Um, but ultimately for some of you, it's communication. You need to work on your communication. And for others of you, it's when you become stronger in the throat, you will exude um, an authenticity. And it's not to say you're not being authentic now. It's simply to say that you will become even more authentic. And the more we stand in our authenticity, the more we say the things that truly we want to say without, you know, editing ourselves, without holding ourselves back, the easier it is to manifest our reality. So they're really, um, you know, uh, motivating you to do that this month. And Virgo, if you are enjoying this message, please leave a video gift in the comments below to show your support. Thank you. What else does Virgo need to know for October 2024, please? <laughs> what? I, I just heard, I said, Burr, it's cold in here. It must be the Tauros in the atmosphere. Okay, so some of you are watching Bring It On quite literally, but for others of you, I don't know, are you doing some sort of like competitive dance, competitive cheer? I have no idea. Virgo, let me know in the comments below. I feel like that is such a niche thing to say so if it's meant for you please let me know i want to know what the heck is going on thank you what else does virgo need to know for october 2024 please creating a fresh start came through um, my neck just itched a bit ago and then they said creating healthy boundaries as well so kind of coming back to this throat chakra energy for those of you that this resonates with um, it could be that you're using your communication to create a fresh start with somebody um, that you already have some sort of relationship with but it's perhaps maybe not the strongest or things have maybe gone awry in the past and you're trying to kind of get on the same page with this person again or something along those lines. Thank you. What else does Virgo need to know for October 2024, please? Playful expressions lightening up. Interesting. Um, it still kind of goes back to this throat chakra, but I'm kind of taking it back to this playful energy at the beginning, like building fun into your day to day. I see um, 
like lightening up. They're really asking you, Virgo, to lighten up the mood in October 2024. Now, I don't know if this is in a specific relationship, if this is in your home, if this is your own mood. Maybe you're a little bit um, feeling a little bit of pressure that you've created, or perhaps you're feeling a little bit wound up or uptight about something specific as it relates to you let it go. <laughs> let it be Virgo. Um, when you, when you release the pressures that you've created, because typically they're false pressures. Anyway, we just create them for ourselves because we're in some comparison mode against our timelines that we think we must be on, on society's timelines, whatever it is. Like when you release those pressures, life becomes way more fun. It seems to be a common theme for you this month. Thank you. What else does Virgo need to know for October, 2024, please? Interesting Virgo, I see some of you like reading paragraphs and paragraphs, somebody's editing, there's editing going on, it's like a maybe a contract, something legal, um, something like a, a legal document here, I'm not sure Virgo, but it's like you're going line by line, like really reading this information and there is editing involved. So maybe some of you are writing a book, maybe some of you are writing, I don't know, an article, something along those lines where there's editing and then a lot of reading involved. Thank you. What else does Virgo need to know for October 2024, please? You've got a grasp on it. This is kind of going back to this study, like this, um, these articles, this paragraph. It's like maybe you're studying something, trying to understand something deeper. Thank you. What else does Virgo need to know for October 2024, please? Virgo, um, I just got the message that you are loved. And so that's really beautiful. I don't think I need to elaborate on that. There's somebody, um, the guides are just really saying that you are truly loved in the month of October. Thank you. Virgo, what a message for October 2024. As always, please take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Let me know in the comments below if any of it does resonate for you, Virgo. And Virgo, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that YouTube lets you know when I upload new content as well as when I go live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time where we talk all things energy healing, perspective shifting, using your energy to manifest and win at the game of life.